when the devil deceived Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, so many things happened in the spiritual realm. Sin entered the human race that would plague them from generation to generation. Humans were alienated from God once for all. Man gave away his God-given dominion to the devil. Because of that, when he died, his spirit was held in captivity in Sheol. God's plan for man to be with him in paradise was cut short. And the devil did have a temporary victory. That's why God cursed the devil who was speaking through the serpent that one day the seed of the woman would crush his head. Now we are going to see as how that prophecy was fulfilled in Jesus. After God expelled Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden, sin multiplied on earth. Adam's elder son Cain killed his own brother Abel. Later on, fallen angels were cross-breeding animals, birds, fish, reptiles, and even humans on earth. There were giants and strange creatures that we call dinosaurs today. There was much violence and bloodshed. It grieved God that he created man, and he brought forth Noah's flood to start all over again. After the flood, the rebels like King Nimrod blamed God for the flood and turned the whole population against him. God chose Abraham and his descendants to work through them and bring back his kingdom on earth. They were promised that one day Shiloh, the sent one, is going to be coming from God to redeem mankind. But no one knew as to when and where he is going to show up. Then the word of God came from Abraham's grandson Jacob in Egypt. And he prophesied from his deathbed. He said, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. This meant that one had to look for Shiloh only in the lineage of Judah from then on. Centuries later, when the tribe of Judah settled in Israel around Jerusalem, more details emerged. Around thousand years before Christ, King David, filled with the Holy Spirit, uttered things that he cannot even imagine. He spoke of Jesus' crucifixion in detail long before crucifixion was the mode of execution. He said, They pierced my hands and my feet. They divide my garments among them. And for my clothing they cast lots. Three hundred years later, Prophet Isaiah mentioned, that this person will be from the seed of Jesse, the father of King David. Now the search got even easier. Out of all the descendants of Judah, one had to look for Shiloh in the lineage of Jesse alone. He also went on to talk about the purpose of his sacrificial death for the mankind. He said, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. He bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Around the year 520 BC, Prophet Zechariah said the following, they weighed for my prize thirty pieces of silver. Well, this is the amount for which Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus to the religious leaders. He also said, They shall look upon me whom they have pierced. Here he is mentioning about the people that pierced Jesus' body, would see him on his second coming and realize what they had done and mourn for him. 
Finally, Shiloh, the seed of the woman, who is also known as the Messiah, was born in Bethlehem. They named him Jesus, just as an angel had instructed Joseph in his dream. The angel had said, She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Later, wise men came from the east following a star to see Jesus, based on their own revelations. They were directed to Bethlehem based on a 700-year-old prophecy by prophet Micah, saying, But thou, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from of old, from everlasting now i have laid out who jesus really is the bible says that all of us are sinners and we cannot make it to heaven by our good works alone that is why god sent jesus to take our punishments upon himself and freely give us eternal life in heaven jesus says about himself he that believes on the Son has everlasting life. He that believes not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Why not make Jesus your personal Savior today? You will be happy on the day of judgment that you did. God bless you.